Well, today we're getting back at it. So the last video, I removed the pony motor, which it's right there. So today what we're going to work on doing is I want to get this wall finished up to the front. We're going to see about getting the ceiling carried down this side. I'm going to have to come over here, trim what I have in front of the bathroom. We're going to carry the ceiling all the way up, at least to the end of the shelf here. Uh, it's going to take some work to get it done up in the front part, but at least up to there. Once we've got a ceiling, we've got our wall, we've got an empty bay, I think we're going to try to get the mini split installed. I don't know that 100% that's going to get finished today, but I'd be happy to have this side of the bus 80%. You know, like I've been doing with everything, I'm trying to get everything to about 80%. I don't want to do any of the finish work, any of the trim work right now. I'm just trying to work on making everything more functional. But I feel a lot better to have this side of the bus completely finished out, at least all the rough end done. And once that's done, we can get to work on this side, which this side's a bit of a mess right now. I moved everything over here. So I've got, you know, wood, materials, all kinds of stuff over here. I also went and picked up my first two cabinets. I would have gotten some more, but I still have the wall in up here. I still got to work on getting that out. Once that's able to be taken out, then we can get the bigger cabinets in. So there are these two. There's going to be one in the corner and then a doubled up one where the kitchen sink goes. This is actually going to get slid down some. I'm going to have to do some measuring because that might actually have to get removed to get the rest of the cabinets in. But, giant step forward from just having a mini fridge and a microwave to uh, actually having some counter space and some storage. So, obviously, I'm going to keep working on getting the kitchen done, but the kitchen's not a hugely pressing issue at the moment. It's uh, usable. It was usable. It still is. It's even more usable now that I actually have prep space. But I can't do a lot on the kitchen until I get the bathroom finished out. Because I have a bunch of stuff I have to access in the back of this bathroom wall here. So I don't know that we're going to get to that right now. But that's going to be somewhere in the not too distant future. Once we get the wall on that side of the bus finished out. I'm going to start getting everything here ready to go. So we can get the kitchen built in. Once the kitchen is built in. Then I'll know where my cabinets are stopping. And then we can finish the wall out down this side. So, if you guys haven't been following along or don't know what my, my plans are, I'm going to be doing a built-in shelf over the wheel well on that side. And right in that corner, facing kind of out this way is where the TV is going to go. I haven't fully decided what's going right in here yet. Probably a little bit of storage space, but I want to leave it kind of open feeling. We're going to have the couch on this side going down the wall. Kind of under the shelf for part of it. Part of it is going to stick out beyond the shelf. Mini splits going up on the wall here. And then I'm going to be building my desk in kind of in this area, but I'm going to have to wait until I get the couch in and stuff because I don't want to block, you know, easy access down the hallway. So we got the piece cut to height, but obviously we have a few things here we have to work around to get it to work. So I've got a profile right now that we've just made by putting this down on here, which shows me the shape that I'm going to have to cut out to clear that. Now to make this work, I need two more measurements. Those two measurements will be the distance from the starting edge of this down over there to where the wall starts and then I need to know the height so from the floor to the top of this radius once I know that I can lay this out make that cut it saves a lot of time and hassle versus trying to measure and do a bunch of cuts and end up scrapping a piece and all that you know stuff that you have to deal with once we get that laid out though I need to make another measurement real quick I'm pretty sure this wheel wells in it because if I remember right that's eight foot right there. So let's do that. And I'm going to put another piece right on this edge so we can tie the bottom of the wall in before the wheel well. A little bit of insulation work, but we'll go get this stuff measured up, transferred, and then we'll see about getting that board in here. Well, we got the wall panel in, but we've run into a bit of an issue. I'm jealous. We sprayed the ceiling here, 
and uh, we're using the same two-part spray foam that I used through the rest of the bus, but apparently we've had a bit of an issue with it today because it's just dripping off the ceiling. The stuff is not mixing right. It's not sticking. Well, that's a bit of an issue. I might have to come back through and do more later. I mean, even back here where I sprayed, you can see it's just running right off the wall. Something is not right with that stuff anymore. So I'm going to get some gloves on and just try to take all of it off that I can. We'll get the floor cleaned up here the best we can. And we're going to have to reassess because this, this is not great. We got the ceiling going. It's connected down all the way back to the bedroom for the first row. So that's at least enough now that we can get the mini split up here mounted. I'm currently trying to deal with the issue of everything that fell off on the floor here. So this is oil dry right now. I know it's a mess, but it's actually sticking to it pretty well. So I'm just going to keep trying to spread that out to get this stuff because this stuff is not drying at all. I mean, it's just. Uh, that shouldn't be wet still at all. It's probably been 40 minutes since I shot it. So, I'm just going to work through on spreading this stuff around. I'll get the broom out. <coughs> Try to get it cleaned up and dried up the best we can. And it's about all we can really do. It sucks, but I don't know what happened. Uh, the stuff worked before. The only thing I can think of is it was in the front half of my bus, which my bus has had heat on the entire time. And I've had beer stored up in the front steps that never froze but I'm wondering if it got too cold for that stuff up here at some point and if that messed with it or something I don't know it sucks that stuff's not cheap but I mean I did get use out of it so at the end of the day it's not the worst thing that could happen all right so now that we've got that bay cleared out I still got to get the pony motor pulled out the rest of the way but that's how they did air conditioning in 1947 this is how we're gonna do it in 2021 so this is a 12,000 BTU Mr. Cool mini split system. Really efficient. It's 22 sear. And it's going to way outperform what that stuff used to do with a four cylinder flathead. And a lot less space is being taken up. So, this is going to be the unit right here that's going to mount on the wall inside. And everything else is going to fit right in that bay and take up way less space than that thing did. So, I've been working through on the floor here, just putting oil dry down, then going back over with the chisel, scraping it up. It's coming up pretty good. It's taking about two passes, so I've just been going backwards over them. So I'm not tearing up the flooring. But it's getting all that stuff back off. Come back through, wipe another layer over. And that's usually been getting it right in there. I mean, it sucks. That's, I wasn't planning on spending time on this or having this issue, but... It's at least coming up. I'm trying to get it done now before this stuff does set up, if it'll ever set up. I'd hate to find out that it will after it's stuck to the floor and just the glue, goo, sticky mess. While we're working on that, though, get the mini split in. So this is the inside unit. We've got the line set dropping. It's going to go right down there between the windows. So this is uh, Bluetooth controllable. I can do this through my phone, too. So that's going to be really convenient that I can control the heat and air from my phone. All right, so we got a hole in the floor now. That is where all of our line set, our power cable, and everything is gonna go down into the bay. So we got the outdoor unit in the bay for the initial test fit, and I was hoping it would fit sideways, which if I would have measured, I probably would have known from the start, but uh, it doesn't. So it's gonna have to go in here long ways, which isn't a big deal. But that means I'm going to have to remove this track section right here that the old pony motor used to slide out on. So, if I get the shop back real quick, we'll get all this stuff sucked up and cleaned in here so that I can see what I'm doing. I think there's just a few bolts that go down through the floor, so it's not going to be a huge deal to uh, get that out of there. We got the Mr. Cool mounted. Got the line set, ran through the floor. It's all ran in a chase, so you don't have to see it. It's nice and clean. I did not screw it to the wall yet because I do have to paint the wall here and still do, you know, the window sills and all that stuff. So it's just clamped on around it right now. It will be permanently mounted though once I finish painting and some other stuff on the install. So I've got my connections made. All the line sets are hooked up and ran, so now I'm opening up the valves. The other 
cat bat. There it is. So this thing will be getting moved over. As you can see, there's a giant hole right here. And I do want it slid as far this way as possible. So we'll have to come back through next week after I get some steel and stuff and we'll seal that floor up. We'll get it slid all the way over so we have some extra storage space in here. But I think now all I need to do is go hook the hot uh, power up on the other side. It's going through into my utility bay where all my power is. Once I get that hooked up, I'm pretty sure this thing's ready to fire up and try. Here we go. Nice cold air. Just set it to auto and the fan speed came up on its own. Everything seems to be working pretty good. That's actually really quiet. The only thing you actually hear is just the fan inside of this unit. I don't hear anything in the bay below. It's a lot quieter than the rooftop air unit. Well, now that we got the mini split done, we're going to go ahead and get this outlet done. Once I get this thing wired in, this will be the last outlet for this half of the bus. At that point, the left side's completely wired. Just have a little bit of wall up there that needs to be finished. And one more row of ceiling. And the entire left side is at least to 80% on the inside. I still have to come through and put my window sills in. I'm going to have to put trim along the floor. i got to figure out what I'm doing up here for some type of trim between the transition on the ceilings. we have to finish off the edges of the shelves and stuff. But at least all the, uh, you know, the, for the first 80% is done. Like I said, I'm not trying to get anything to the point right now where it's completely finished. I'm just trying to get everything to the point where it's usable. So, I've got a Milwaukee 11 and one here, and the nice thing about these is they do the loops on the end of the wire for you. So you put the wire through, turn it, there we go. I've got my loop for my ground. So just throw it in there. Nope, did that backwards. I flip that over real quick. Do it that way. I'm tightening the screw. It won't try to push it out when it gets tight. Actually, the other nice thing about this is it's a ECX drive. Might as well use that too and show you guys that if you've never seen it before. So that bit's actually made for beats. That's a three. I need a two. And I am really just messing this up right now. Anyway. fits in there perfectly so it's like a combination flat Phillips and uh, number two rod boots and the just perfect for really. I gotta hold that thing it tight all the way but it's one of my favorite ones to use when I'm going through and doing stuff because it does quite a bit there we go so it's in ready to go I have covers for them I'm not gonna throw it on yet though I'm gonna wait till I get the wall painted there's no point in doing that because I have this shut off it's not like I've got it turned out or powered up so uh, once we get it painted, I'll get the covers on, and we can uh, put this side of the bus live for power. Went ahead and cut a panel, finished out the wall on that end. So we now have the bottom half of the wall ran end to end. I'm going to have to come back and trim the top edge and make that flat. But that's not going to be a big deal. I'll probably just take the router and run it down it or something like that and just to get it flat, but that's not going to be a concern right this minute. Well, I think we have enough bare walls now where I can justify doing some more painting. Another fun tip for you guys, these, uh, you know, wire come down, got a little loop paint can openers. If you take them and cut off the loop end, they'll fit in a screwdriver handle. So, a little more comfortable, nicer, looks nicer in your toolbox, easier to find, you don't lose it. I couldn't tell you how many old wire ones I've had before for painting, but I made this one a few years ago and I haven't had an issue since. Let's see how this stuff mixed up. Oh yeah, that's looking good. All right. Well, I'll probably give you guys an update here in a little bit, but uh, I doubt you guys want to watch paint dry, so get some of this poured up real fast and uh, get these walls looking how they should. Big question is how is it going to cover when we had that issue with the separating... See how that's going to end up doing. I'm hoping that covers without an issue. That's where that uh, spray foam didn't go off, right? We had a bad 
two-part mix. Hoping that covers well, but we'll see. I got a whole wall to roll here, so I wanted to do that first so we can kind of get a little bit of a look. I can see it bleeding through on the first coat. We'll let that dry and we'll come back and hit it again and see what it does. Went ahead and got the first coat done down that wall, and I can still see it's bleeding through the first, which I do two coats on this normally, so go ahead and roll the second one on and see if it's still going to bleed through in a minute here, but I'm going to probably keep going this way let that dry a little bit more because it does still look a little wet down there over it. All right, so this is starting to look pretty dry, about ready for its second coat. I need to get a brush to get in behind where I ran the mini split. I'm probably just going to do one heavy coat with a brush when I come through and do my edging and trim work on it. While I was waiting for that, I went ahead and got this one done, first coat. My goal is that I want to get all of this done with its second coat, let it dry, then we're going to move all of my materials that are sitting here down so I can finish the wall that way. Either that or wait for this wall to dry and just lay them over here. But hopefully we'll get this done pretty quick. Went ahead and got all my building materials moved off this wall, so we got a first coat on that one. Got a brush, went in behind where the mini split went. Let that sit up for a little bit and dry. We'll get a second coat on that. So everything up here has two coats, as well as this wall right here has two coats. I went ahead and did the end. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this end out or not yet, but until we decide, I went ahead and painted it. And while I was doing that, I just remembered that this outlet right here is white. That one was behind the building materials and I forgot that I ran out of gray ones. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out real quick because like I said, this whole wall is dead right now. I don't have power connected. And we'll switch it out for a gray one so that it matches the rest of the bus. Well, it looks better. It's a lighter shade of gray, but I think it looks a lot nicer than just having a white outlet or a you know, white cover plate on these. So while that was going, that wall started to dry. I think uh, in a few minutes here, it'll be ready for its next coat. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I gotta get an outlet cover over that one and let it dry a little bit longer. Once the side back here dries, I'll probably move all my materials back over there, but we're ready to run the router across the top, get it all flattened out and level, and then we can get window sills in. That's going to be a little bit, I want to get the other side done and just do it all at once, same with the trim around the bottom and all that, but we're good to go. We've got an AC in here, so it's actually nice and really comfortable in here for a change during the day. So we'll just keep going along, and on the next video, we'll see where we end up. I really need to get back to work on that front wall up there, get that out of the way, because I need to get the rest of my cabinets in, and, uh, and really this side's ready to put the flooring down all the way up and get the couch in here so I think next up we'll be back to working on getting that front wall removable in one way or another whether we gotta get it removed the way it was put in or if we make it removable that'll be our next project